Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Suyu finally has a public release as of today. I'm going to show you how to download it, set it up, as well as make it completely portable. Stay tuned. Welcome to Harrison Hacks. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So let's go ahead and get our Suyu for Windows set up and completely portable. So the first link in the description is going to take you to the GitLab where we can get the first release, first public release of Suyu. If I say Yuzu throughout the video, I apologize, it's Suyu. Uh, but we're going to left click on the Windows right here, x86 underscore 64. And we'll have a 75 megabyte download. So you just left click on this and it'll download for you. Next, we're going to need some product keys and title keys. So the second link in the description will take you to this page. You're going to click on the download product keys and title keys. And then just left click on download here and it will download for you. And the next thing will be they've supplied the firmware files. So the third link in the description is going to take you to get the firmware. So we're going to scroll down it'll say download Suyu firmware left click and then come all the way down and here we go so you can use the top one that, that's what I use but you can also use the second one it's up to you but the archive.org you can just left click on download and it works so we're good there so let's go ahead and get everything set up so let's start with our Suyu 7-zip file. Um, if you don't have 7-zip installed, I'll link in the description. But we're going to want to right-click on the 7-zip file, go to 7-zip, extract here. Click on that. You'll end up with a release folder. What I like to do is rename the folder so that I always know that it's my Suyu folder. We also downloaded a keys.zip and a firmware.zip. So let's highlight them both. Right click, 7-zip. This time you want to go to extract two and you'll end up with the keys folder and a firmware folder. So let's open up our Suyu folder. And before we launch anything, we're going to right click on a blank space, new folder. We're going to call this user, and this is the first step of making this portable. Next thing we're going to do is launch suyu.exe. It's going to give us this error. We're just going to hit OK. Now we're going to go to Tools, Install Decryption Keys. Mine are on my desktop, but wherever you extracted your keys, we're going to open it up. Prod Keys, Open. Hit OK. We're going to go to Tools one more time install firmware. I have my firmware on my desktop. I'm going to click the folder and then just hit select folder and it's going to install. Won't take long at all. There we go. And while we're in here, let's go to view full screen and it should launch full screen next time we start. We'll go to emulation configure so I like to hide my mouse. You can work out hotkeys if you choose. Um, here is UI options, so you can change your theme if you want, your grid style, so on and so forth. I like to go to System. Make sure everything looks good here. Then you can go and make profiles if you want. I'm not sure exactly how well that's running just yet but it's a feature I'm going to show you in a second. CPU, they recommend leaving that auto. Here's where you can set your graphics. You can change them however you so choose. And then your audio and your controls. So you can select Pro Controller. Mine, I have an Xbox controller and it auto maps everything. So I have nothing to worry about there. And then I'll hit OK. Now we're going to close the emulator. We're going to right click on a blank space. We're going to go to new folder and we're going to name it games. 
just like that. So I'm going to open up my games folder and I have some games on my desktop. I'm going to drag them in just like that. So we will launch suyu.exe one more time. And this time we're going to go and double click to add the games folder. So I'm in my suyu folder, games, select folder. There's all of our games. If you want to install updates or DLC, you go to file, install files to NAND. And I'm going to go to my desktop. And here are my updates. So you can select all of your updates at once, hit open, make sure they're all checked here, install. It doesn't take long at all. I only had six. There we go. Now I'm going to go to file, install files to NAND. This time I'll do my DLC, highlight everything, open, install, boom. So another nice feature of this emulator, if you go to tools and you want to open home menu, this is going to launch up the switch home. There we go. And you can launch games through here if you want. Let me just make sure I'm muted. But there you go. So my game's been launched. Do I want to close? Yes. So if you want to launch right into the switch front end instead of looking at the suyu GUI, what you'll want to do is go to your suyu.exe, right click, create shortcut. So I'm going to name mine suyu portable. Now we're going to right click on the shortcut, properties. And where your target is at the end, you'll want to put space dash QL and hit apply. OK. And the last step to make this completely, completely portable is to go to your user folder, config, qt dash config dot ini. We're going to right click, edit. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And where it says paths for your game directories, we just want this to say the word games. So path equals games. Make sure we file, save, close. Now if I were to launch with my Suyu portable shortcut, It launches in full screen, and there we go. So I'm just going to exit out of the emulator one more time. Yes. Show you it's completely portable. I'm going to move it into a different folder. Let's move it over here. Then we'll go into Suyu and launch our shortcut. And it is completely portable. So a pretty in-depth guide. I hope this helps everybody get the simulator set up. It looks really promising. This is how I want the front end to look. I always want to launch it like this. I hope that they continuously work on this. I'm sure their main focus is compatibility for gameplay. I mean, that would be obvious to me. Um, but this is a really cool way to enjoy this emulator. So please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, have a good day.